Joshua Cheptegei is one of the fastest rising distance runners in the world. In 2017, at just 19 years of age, Cheptegei placed second in the World Championship 10,000 meters, only placing second behind Mo Farah of Great Britain. In 2018, Cheptegei went on to break the world record in the 15K on the roads with an astonishing 41 minutes and 5 seconds. This performance was also incredible because he closed his final 5,000 meters in a remarkable 13 minutes and 16 seconds. Moving into 2019, Cheptegei continued his winning streak with a superior victory at the World Cross Country Championships. As the 2019 season has progressed, Cheptegei has been slowly progressing forward and challenging the best runners not only in cross country, but on the track. In this video, we'll be looking at Cheptegei's most recent performances and we'll see exactly how he's progressed into one of the greatest distance runners in the world. Transition! Alright guys, the first video we are going to look at today is the 2019 World Cross Country Championships. And this is a race that's typically dominated by East Africans, Ethiopia, Uganda, Kenya, and you see right there up front in the yellow jerseys there, the three Ugandans just ready to rock and roll. And we're only two and two and a half minutes into the race, and again, pushing up front. But what I want to showcase in this race is Cheptegei's strength. So this is a cross-country course, very hilly, lots of barriers, different obstacles, there's actually a little water pit. And as you can see here, this is a pretty steep downhill. This is some true cross-country. This is not a place where you're going to run a 10k in under 28 minutes. This is about surviving, basically, and that's why Cheptegei won this year's World Cross Country Championships, in my opinion. He's a very smart tactician as well. That's what I think is pretty fascinating. So this race, this is not Cheptegei leading. This is one of his Uganda teammates, but Cheptegei is actually in about 10th right now. I'm not sure if that's him right there behind the, the red jersey, but I do think he's in the top 10, top 15, battling uphill. He's very patient with his timing during races. He waits to attack, he waits to uh, really assert himself. And we fast forward until about the 21 minute mark, right, or excuse me, 11 minutes right here, going back up the hill. He's actually, you can see him back there in the back left. Now it's in the back right, I suppose, but Cheptegei is extremely strong. He's a very, very strong athlete. If he could transfer that to the track from cross country, I really do think he would be extremely difficult to beat. And right here at 27 minutes, we're about four minutes away from the finish. Notice Cheptegei, how relaxed he is. He's always looking pretty relaxed, even when he's accelerating. Um, he's very light on his feet. He has a slight forward lean, and he really looks balanced. He doesn't look like he's ever really in pain. And coming down the hill here, I think downhills are extremely easy for him because his stride is so long. He doesn't have a traditionally high knee drive or anything like that, but what he does have is the ability to just take like two and a half yard strides. Very, very long cadence, very relaxed cadence, and you can see him just going away there. He's gone at this point, made his move, and right here he's coming down the home stretch. We'll get a chance to see his stride incomplete from the front. Uh, very relaxed, very, um, I don't know, just uh, there's something about his stride that's easy to identify. His arm carriage. Uh, it's a tiny bit high um, from what typically you know you see in runners that bring their arms down closer to their hips and a little more relaxed as opposed to kind of up high. But uh, it works for Cheptegei, obviously. He's the world cross country champion, and that was a fantastic performance from him. Now we're going to jump to the 2018 15 kilometer world record where Cheptegei just dominated. I mean, it's a really interesting race. I'll put his splits right here. He really just separated himself in the middle of the race and just kept getting faster and faster. Right here, we're still pretty early in the race, um, but he starts to just kind of get into this rhythm where he slowly just cranks up the pace, cranks it up more and more. By the end, he splits 13-16 for the five kilometer distance. Really, really incredible. And look at that stride. Really, again, pretty effortless. That's, that's kind of why he's so good over like the half marathon, 15 kilometer distance. I think that suits him really well, and I think he really does have the potential to be a fantastic 10 kilometer runner as well. This right here is a great angle. Notice how long his stride is. It's like two, seriously, it's like two and a half yards. It's just incredibly long. He looks effortless again. And by this point, I'm pretty confident he's over a minute, maybe even two minutes ahead of his closest competitor. He's just driving away. Again, he gets faster and faster in this race. This is from 5K to 10K, uh, which he splits right around 13.30. And man, seeing him run through these back roads in a completely dominant manner, 
is very inspirational. Again, this was back, I believe in October of 2018, before he won the World Cross Country Championships, but at this point he was in great form. And look at this. This is during his last 5K. He splits a 13-16 here. 13-16 on the roads for a 15K is virtually indescribable. I, I don't think that anything like that's ever been done. That's splitting well under four minutes and 30 seconds per mile. That's closer to 4.15, honestly. Very incredible. And he looks effortless doing it. Look how, look how nice and tall he is. Again, his arms up front come a little high, but it's not really off balance. That's, that's just kind of how his arm carriage goes. This is, this is really where he starts throwing down. I think he splits a two minute and 35 second kilometer from, I believe, 13 to 14 kilometers. This is really when I noticed him and really came on the map for me. Cheptegei became uh, a really high class name in distance running when he ran this just because how fast it was. Uh, of course, his World Cross Country Championship is impressive, but I personally think this is even more impressive. So, incredible race from Joshua Cheptegei. And the last video we're going to look at is actually the 2017 World 10,000 meter final. And I wanted to showcase this because I think this showcases more than anywhere else his potential on the track. Uh, and you got Mofara getting tripped up a little bit there, but I want you to watch his finishing kick. He doesn't quite match Mofara, but this last lap is well under 60 seconds, probably closer to 58, 57, and he actually powers home pretty quickly here. Notice the arm drive and the knee drive more so than when he's in cross country. I really do see him as an athlete. And there's a nice close-up for you here. I really do see him as an athlete that can polish his kick. And when he does polish his kick, he's going to be very, very difficult to beat. All right, guys, now it is the time of the video where I am going to make some predictions for Joshua Cheptegei's future. And from everything that I've seen about him, from his strength, from his potential, from his finishing kick, things like that, I think he has the most potential in the 5K, the 10K, and the half marathon. Now, for the 5K, I think he is going to run a time of 12 minutes and 50 seconds. For the 10K, I think he has a lot of potential here. I think he's going to run a time of 26 minutes, 30 seconds. And for the half marathon, I actually think he has the most potential here out of any other racing category. I personally think that he can take down the world record. I predict that he is going to run a time of 58 minutes and 10 seconds. If he can somehow get on that momentum that he had during the 15K world record, and he can amazingly run a 13-15 final 5K, I honestly see no reason why he wouldn't be able to break the world record in the half marathon. He really has great potential over all these events, but I think the 10K and the half marathon, I think that's where he's going to shine the most. I do not know if he's going to go up to the marathon distance. I haven't had any reason to believe that he would go that far, mostly because he's actually even gone down to the 3,000 meter distance, which he ran earlier in the Diamond League Series race in Oslo. But yeah, these are my thoughts on Joshua Cheptegei. I would love to know yours. Feel free to let me know what you think he's going to run. He's been really attacking for the past couple of years, and now he's still at the young age of 22. He's still super young, he's still super talented, but most importantly, he strikes me as someone that's still very hungry. I see him progressing into the future. I see him attacking more and more of a specialized kind of distance. I think he's going to eventually see that the 10K and the half marathon are his distance, and I really hope that he, I really hope that he can continue to break world records. He already has a world record, which he broke when he was still only 22 years old, and he also won the World Cross Country Championships when he was 22 years old. Absolutely incredible. The sky is the limit for this runner, Joshua Cheptegei from Uganda. It's great to see that Uganda is surging as well. Typically from Africa, you have Kenya and Ethiopia just dominating all of the world records from the 5K all the way up to the marathon, but Joshua Cheptegei strikes me as someone that can really mix things up. Again, I think he has the great potential over the 10K and the half marathon. Maybe he could even go under 58 minutes for the half marathon. He could be the first person ever to go under the 58 minute barrier. He obviously has great speed. Again, I think his speed is underrated. I think his finishing kick is drastically underrated. So I would love to know what you all have to say about Joshua Cheptegei. Let me know what times you think he's gonna run down in the comments below. And thank you very much for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe for more great running content. And I will see you all in the next video.